few years ago, I didn't think I was capable of, of creating music. You know, this was pretty recent, maybe like in quarantine, where I was like, oh yeah, I guess I could do this. And having the ability to do that, at least in my mind, telling myself I could finally do it, is like huge. Um, yeah, uh, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, I'm AP, your host, and this is Long Beach Live. We are joined here today, Sunny Renet from San Diego, and we are so honored to have you guys here. Thank you so much guys for doing this, we really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Check out their live system if you guys missed it, it was amazing. Uh, it's on Calibre Productions YouTube channel. Make right, sure so like and subscribe, alright? We got some questions for you guys, you guys ready? Yeah, I think so. Are you sure? Maybe. All right. Can you tell us about the origins of your band? So how did you all guys come together and pursue music together? Well, why, why are you making a face at <laughs> Well, we've known each other since freshman year of college. We met in 2016 mm -hmm. in the Filipino club at UCSD. Mm -hmm. We were twins by that. Um, I mean, we have the same big brother. Um, we both knew we were into music, so throughout the years we would just jam together. Um, we didn't write a song until five years later but we weren't in the band yet. I met Alan, the drummer, um, in a coffee shop, and he told me about Musicians Club in San Diego. Oh, wow. And I decided to bring out Annette. And then we met Nisar, who went to college with Alan. Alan is part of this, um, what you say, Filipino performing troupe. And they were having a junior concert. He invited the four of us, not as Sun Burnett yet, and two other people to play original Filipino music and from that experience we found that we really nice. had this natural chemistry yeah. going. Uh, it was just a really enjoyable experience. To Sometimes you just feel it, right? Yeah, I don't remember the exact details. I think you were all talking offline about exploring becoming a band and then we're pretty close friends. So she just asked me later um, if I wanted to play, play keys and then we just started practicing and writing and That's beautiful. <laughs> so Alan is your drummer, right? Yeah. He was yeah. not here today? Yeah, he didn't oh. make it today. Cool. Your band has like a diverse musical influence, right? Yeah. You know, like it's so beautiful, like, I love it. Like, and how do they really contribute to your distinctive sound? I guess like, for the most part, my what my summary of it is, is really into classic rock, um, Stone Temple with Pilots, Pearl Jam, even Flow. <laughs> grunge! Yeah, lots of grunge stuff. Marge is really into R&B, funk. Yeah. Um, very like textural key, soft rock, yeah. um, oldies mm -hmm. vibes. I love oldies, I love everything. Honestly, like there's no genre that can define me, but I really got into small artists and you know, like bedroom pop, like that 2018 era. Now, like since I'm the producer for the band, I listen to all kinds of things because I gain like influences from like everything. I'm like, oh, I like how squelchy that bass sounds like in that like random ass hip hop song. Yeah, yeah. 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 Music is music, right? Whatever it's, it it's comes from, pretty much like you know, whatever you feel about it. Yeah, you're a Filipino background, right? And you're like a mix. Mm -hmm. And you're like your parents from India. And so how does like, uh, especially for you guys, like Latino and Filipino heritage like this month, so how does that background shape your music journey? So one thing about us is that we're like kind of old for this scene. Like a lot of the people that we meet, at least in the San Diego scene, you know, they're really young. Like so they're still in high school or they pursued music um, after they graduated high school yeah, yeah. and their parents support them and they're able to like do that full time. The thing about us is we have day jobs, all of us. Mm -hmm. We weren't really able to pursue this kind of thing until like after we were able to like put our feet in the ground. Um, all of us are first generation, so we don't have like that kind of support, you know? Yeah. Um, it's tough. Yeah, especially coming from the immigrant family, like, you know, like it's just it's pretty tough. Yeah, we joined pretty late in the game, but it's been pretty fun. A lot of our songs deal with a lot of like inner pain or like just like experience. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's, it's true. That's true. It's true. <laughs> that makes beautiful. Yeah. So, what is your guys' creative process like? Writing and composing songs, and how do you collaborate to bring your ideas to life? Uh, I think it depends on the song and whose idea initially it is. Like lately, we've been getting into like exploring like environments or like scenes that either we live through. Like, you know, experiences or things that we created in our own minds. Like, if I play a chord progression, it makes me think of this thing. 
this environment. You yeah. know, say it's a sunset at some sort of cliffside beach and there's sunflowers mm-hmm. everywhere. Oh, yeah. You know, like I put that into <clears throat> your mind and then play this melody over it gives you okay, everything that's set up in your environment yeah. in that scene. And really I feel like uh, it's just telling the story about what happens in that environment. That's what we're getting to now. I feel like before we were kind of just like coming up with melodies, mm-hmm. pitching it to each other, and then saying, okay, I had a part of the part, which I think allows everyone to have their you know, own creative part to the song. As you were saying, like the diversity of our music, where we yeah. come from all different backgrounds. It's yeah, like, yeah. we were all able to do that because you know, not one person wrote the entire song. It was like, here's an idea, let's all come together. Yeah, that's a teamwork, right? Yeah, yeah. Always yeah. Teamwork. I think it works because we're able to um, be open to each other's taste and yeah. adjust to each other's taste as well and be able to incorporate that when writing our own Yeah, yeah, and respect each other too. Yeah. A lot of these songs are like, me circle write a riff. Yes. And then I'll just be like, all right, what were you thinking about when you wrote this riff? And then he'll be like, I was mad. Or like, I was yeah. thinking about the beach <laughs> yeah, yeah. with like flowers and shit. And I'm like, okay, context, <laughs> let's make a story. And then we'll just like write a story or like write lyrics based on that feeling. Yeah. It's a great process, right? Yeah. I love I love making music. San Diego has a great indie rock scene. Like, and how has the local music community influenced your growth as a band? A lot of San Diego artists that we've connected with, like, like I know I said earlier, like some of them are young, but then some of them are also really like us. Like, I don't know, I don't know how the LA music scene is like. I'm sure that's intimidating in its yeah. own way. But there's kind of like different sides of like the San Diego scene. Like there's like the white dude punk bands. They're really cool and stuff when we do get to play with them. But sometimes I do feel a little bit intimidated because it's like, oh, I, I just, really didn't have this kind of upbringing yeah yeah yeah. but yeah. then the other people of color bands like they they get us they're yeah, like yeah, yeah we're just like a bunch of little guys like let's yeah. just like do this shit together <laughs> like i feel really supported by our friends that we've made along the way seeing people um express themselves is an invitation for us to express ourselves as well and i think it really in the beginning we might have not known how to express ourselves physically and held back a little but yeah. seeing the chemistry of other bands really inspired us to up our game in that aspect of just but more loose. Cool. Uh, so how do you guys really hope your music impact your listeners and uh, what messages or emotions do you aim to convey through your songs? At least for me, it's more so like a few years ago I didn't think I was capable of like creating music. You know, this was pretty recent, maybe like in quarantine, where I was like, oh yeah, I guess I could do this, you know. And I've been playing guitar ever since I was in like middle school, so it was just like having the ability to do that and at least in my mind telling myself I could finally do it is like huge. Um, yeah, uh, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> like impact your yeah. Uh, like, yeah, okay, listeners, okay. yeah. There what's the message? Yeah, so in the same sense, I, I hope to bring that to other people who are like in that same mindset, like, oh, I'm not creative enough to play mm-hmm. or create yeah. my own music. I'm not yeah. good enough to play live. Yeah. I saw an Ed Sheeran interview one time where he said like, you're gonna like just like a faucet running water like yeah. you're gonna get all the shit water out at first but after that you're gonna start getting good stuff your creative process might not be great in the beginning but if you keep at it like something good's gonna come out of it that's beautiful so i think yeah lastly can you guys share some insights into the future of the band what are your long-term goals and aspirations um <clears throat> i would say it's kind of i'm gonna combine like the last question with this question like my intention for like jump starting this thing was mostly like if I can, I would like to like make music and art and all those things like the main thing. But you know, we're kind of in the process. But I guess like in combination with the last question, my main goal is just like to let myself express things. A lot of us like grow up not being able to do so. And it's not only for a selfish reason. I would say I'm being selfish in like a self-care, self-love way. Like I'm letting myself do this. Like, yeah, a lot of musicians are like i hate making content or like i hate marketing and i'm like well the music is not only about like the physical act of playing on stage it's about community and reaching others and it's like if somebody hears my song or what i felt and like relates to it it's like one less lonely person in the world yeah that's true it's amazing you guys have uh, upcoming shows coming in you guys want to give it a shout out to anybody like let the people know let the people know they can find your music 
Yeah, so you can find us on Spotify, all streaming platforms. We have a couple shows next week if you do happen to watch this on Thursday, October 5th, 2023. Good job! <laughs> <laughs> You're already. <Yes. laughs> we have some shows next week, October 13th, Friday the 13th, uh, at Humble Heart in San Diego, and then we're playing um, at the So Set Up Filipino Festival. Um, the Waterfront Park, downtown. Yes, October 14th, Saturday. All right, cool. Thank you so much for doing this, guys. Thank you for making this all this right. Congratulations, guys. It was an amazing show. And good wishes to you. And for all the people, man, I'm like, please don't forget, like, you know, our studio is open for the booking. Like, you know, you can hit us up for record your next sessions or anything. And if you, even if you're interested to play a show over here, please reach out to us. Like, you can email us on Calibrated Productions or you can email us on Long Beach Live Sessions. And also, don't forget to check out this amazing band's live on YouTube channel. If you guys missed out, you guys not supposed to miss it out, but if you guys <laughs> missed it, just please check it out and like and subscribe to our channel. Follow the band on your social media, give some love to them. Like, you know, we need to support our local bands and local artists, right? And stay tuned for our next episode, episode 14, right? We got Ron's side of the town. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Woo, thank you. Thank you.